everyone. Are you a fan of horror movies? I have to assume you at least have some interest in the genre, considering you've clicked on this video. Have you heard studios and advertisers talk about how scary their movie is, often claiming it's the scariest movie of the generation? Sometimes going so far as to show you footage of people reacting to their movie. All this hype gets you to go see it, but you walk out of the theater disappointed because it wasn't scary in the slightest. Failing to even at least be a decent movie. It just makes you wonder what all those people reacting to the movie were jumping at. Well, allow me to introduce to you. The jump scare. A jump scare is a filming tool often used in horror movies used to elicit a reaction out of the audience, specifically used to scare you enough that you jump out of your seat, hence the name jump scare. But therein lies the problem that I have with jump scares. They don't actually scare you. I understand that may be an odd claim to make, I mean scare is right in the name, but allow me to explain. Have you ever had a friend wait behind a corner, knowing that soon you'll have to turn said corner, and once you just begin to navigate your way around the bend, They jump out and yell? A common expression after they've done so is, hey, you just scared me. But that's not entirely accurate, is it? To say you were scared by something is to imply that you are afraid of that something. But allow me to ask, what are you afraid of in that moment? Your friend that just jumped out at you? That wouldn't really make sense, would it? If your friend is someone worthy of your fear, I should wonder why they're your friend in the first place. The hallway? I should hope not. Hallways are part of almost every building. The feeling that there might be someone hiding behind a corner in front of you? That one I could definitely understand, however in this example, you weren't even considering that maybe there might be someone there. If you weren't even thinking about it, I'd have a hard time believing that you were truly afraid of that. Well, the only thing left is the actual action of someone jumping out at you, which I can definitely see as something that would be scary, but only in certain circumstances, like if it was a complete stranger doing so. But this is someone that you're already acquainted with. And what exactly happened before and directly after your friend jumping out at you? Before you were walking, having a nice time, and then after, you acknowledge that they jumped out at you, but then in, the fear ends there, the anxiety ends there, and you go back to what you were doing previously. I wouldn't say that exactly seems like you were stricken with fear in that moment. Afterward, you're certainly not afraid to turn every single corner you come across now, are you? Well, you should be. Who knows what's just waiting behind me, a few feet away. Waiting. But if what you experienced in that moment wasn't fear, what was it? It was surprise. They startled you, not scared you. They played on the fact that humans evolved to react to sudden sounds and movements. We had to. That's what helped keep us alive during our development as a species. And that's also why filmmakers use jump scares to activate that fight or flight response in you. However, just like any tool, jump scares can be misused. In order to get cheap reactions, some filmmakers just throw undeserved jump scares in their films just to say, hey, our movie is constantly making people jump out of their seats. They use it in place of actual scares, 
which doesn't make for a good scary movie. You have to build up to a jump scare and use it to accentuate your scares. Only then is it used effectively. And I'll prove just that. Allow me to pose to you two scenarios. Scenario A and Scenario B. Scenario A is... Yes, that. Exactly that. A jump scare out of nowhere. Now that might have gotten you to jump just now, but it's over. You've processed what happened, and now we're moving on. That's it. That's the whole jump scare. Now, for scenario B, picture this. You're home alone when you hear a noise coming from another room. You determine the sounds are coming from the bathroom. But that doesn't make much sense. There's not that many places for something to hide in the bathroom. Well, except for... So, which is scarier, A or B? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.